guys welcome to kk java tutorials in this video tutorial we are going to talk about sql default constraint so first of all uh, let me explain you what is our default constraint in sql uh, the default constraint is used to provide a default value for a column so before wasting any time let's uh, jump to the sql developer there i can explain you through an example so here you can see i have a table is called a student uh, which is having many columns one of the column is called phone num phone right which is having a uh, 10 character long and here you can see i have given the keyword default and after a space in single quote i have uh, given the value as unknown that means if anybody is, anybody is trying to insert a record into a student table and they do not provide value for phone then by default this column is going to insert value as unknown right and that's what uh, we use the default uh, constraint let me show you so just i'm going to create this table so table has been created let me refresh my connection so here you can see table has been uh, created right and if you look into the sql section then here you can see default constraint has been applied on phone number right now let me insert a uh, uh, row one row in this table so i'm going to generate insert query and here id i'm going to specify as, as one then we have to specify name let's say name in single code you have to specify let's say question then you have to specify ct ct i'm going to specify mumbai and then you have a, after ct you have a uh okay okay a second name then phone number you have to specify sorry third was the phone number so phone number we need to specify and after phone number we have ct so phone number in single quote you have to specify because uh, that is a uh, where care 10 character long and then uh, we are going to supply value for ct yeah that's i have set it as mumbai and finally we have to set the fee so let's say 8000 and if i insert record into this table let me run so one row has been inserted now second row i am going to insert but at this time as a id we have a special primary key so we have to supply the unique value now let's say name is shown and phone number at this time i'm not going to supply right because phone number can take a default values and here also we are going to delete phone right and rest of the things i'm going to insert right seven thousand and if i insert right one more row then see one more row has been inserted now go here and in data section if i look into here you can see so if i refresh then here you can see first time we had inserted values in all the columns value has been populated one second time ct we had not supplied so, uh, sorry phone we had not supplied so in, in phone column you can see in unknown value has been inserted right and that's the huge of because default constraint okay so this is the basically way to define our default constraint in uh, sql let's say if you have already existing table and there you want to set the default constraint then how we can do that so same you can do using uh, basically uh, alter uh, table command so i would say a alter table then you have to give the table name then think about the student then you have to write modify then you have to give the column name that is nothing but the uh, ct in this case and you have to write the default keyword sorry default and then default value what you want to set let's say if user does not uh, 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 say uh, do not do not uh, try to send the value for ct then i i want default value should be delhi right and if you run this query then existing table will be altered so table has been altered let's go to see in the sql section right if i refresh this guy then here you can see default constraint is applied on ct as well so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning, learning this video guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial